case of not in my backyard in Bonita Springs tonight, an organization getting a lot of resistance from neighbors who do not want a homeless shelter in their city. Tonight, Four in Your Corners Andre Sr. was there as they urged leaders not to allow it. More than 100 people packed today's city council meeting to tell the council why the shelter does not belong here, but not everyone was against the idea. We don't need a homeless home. The message loud and clear from a packed room at Bonita Springs City Hall. One by one, residents making their pitch as to why they don't want a homeless shelter in their neighborhood. That's not what the St. Matthews House wants to hear. I'm concerned because of, I've worked in large city hospitals. I know what homeless are like. I know what addicts are like. On Wednesday, the city council considering and will likely eventually approve a moratorium on giving permits to homeless shelters for 12 months. People here are urging city leaders to move swiftly. While the moratorium is in effect, the city would draft an ordinance that will set standards for such facilities, like how far away they should be from schools. A shelter could be located within less than 100 feet of a school. Jeannie Watson is a founder for the group Be Safe Bonita, an organization firmly against the shelter and says the city probably doesn't need one. The studies haven't been done. There's no analysis that's been done on the social service needs in Bonita Springs. Mayor Ben Nelson says the moratorium is not being done to keep the homeless out rather to keep a problem from happening in the future. From, from my standpoint is that, uh, you know, it became very clear to me that, that the city didn't have a set of regulations to regulate that use and it needed to be done. But not everyone at this meeting is against it. I'm definitely in the minority. This Bonita Beach resident says that, in his opinion, it is the role of government to help the homeless, not restrict them. Yeah, I came here to support the minority because these are people that, for the most part, are helpless and there's very few resources for these people to get help from. Today was the first reading of the moratorium. Another reading is scheduled in the next couple of weeks, which is when it could take effect. In Bonita Springs, Andre Sr., Fox 4, in your corner. Do you think the city should block homeless shelters from moving in? Let us know on fox4now.com or call us at 239-206-FOX4.